Hello everybody, it's Gary Stuckey with Real Music. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Hope you have a Happy New Year. Well, Steve Algeri made your Christmas even brighter. He released a brand new album during that time. It's called Seven Ways Till Sunday. He's released a couple of singles already, but a brand new album just released. And I've been listening to the songs. I gotta tell you, this album is awesome. And I figured I'd give you a review of each song. So here we go. The first song, Magic. You know, it's a very Journey-esque song. And I'm going to be saying that a lot because Steve sang with Journey. And of course it's going to sound like Journey. But it just sounds really cool. You know, when he sings these songs, you just think about the Journey days. You think about tall stories. But it's, uh, it's a nice... Uh, upbeat song a lot of lots of cool sounds synthesizer strings things like that that flow all through the song and really all the way through this album got all kinds of cool sounds great band and what's interesting is a lot of these sounds are kind of like the new journey album freedom jonathan kane is trying a lot of cool sounds on a synthesizer things like that and this kind of reminds me of that but it sounds really cool Steve does an awesome job. It's just a feel-good song. I think you'll love it. Really nice. Never Far From Home is the next song. It starts off with a cool drum beat. And the guitar sounds nice. And uh, there's violins on this song. Really, really nice. It's got a nice mixture of sounds with the guitar and violin. And the way it flows together. Really good. Great lyrics on this song. Sounds like they had fun recording it. A lot of cool jams. The next song is Bated Breath. I did a review of that song earlier this year, and uh, it's a nice song. Uh, great lyrics and a nice ballad. Go check out that review for more. But uh, yeah, if you haven't heard it already, go check it out. Really nice. The next song is Drive, and this song has a lot of drive. Yeah. Uh, it, it sounds great. Um, and you can just see Steve driving down the road, listening to this song or singing this song. Maybe he could do a video about this, you know, just relaxing, driving around in a cool car with the window down or maybe the top down. I don't know. And once again, this song really sounds like Journey and Tall Stories mixed together. And, uh, of course, it's going to sound like that. But this sounds like it could have been released in the 80s and maybe been a number one hit. I mean, this is a really good song. The next song is Talking About. And I love the harmonies on this one. And great lyrics, of course. Once again, all these songs are great lyrics. But it's really laid back. It kind of reminds me of Steve Perry's solo, maybe like from For the Love of Strange Medicine. And so do a few other songs on this album. It just has that feel to it, you know, just a personal uh, album. Um, and I'd like to know what's going on in, in Steve's mind, you know, just uh, very uh, emotional songs, really. The next song is Unanswered Prayers, not the Garth Brooks song. But this this is probably my favorite, I'd say Tide, I would guess, for my favorite song on the album. Uh, it sounds like it could have been on one of the cr classic journey albums. There I go again with journey, but it just, it just sounds like that. You know, of course, I uh, love the guitars, the strings, the piano, and lyrically, it just adds so much uh, to the song. It, it, it's really a spiritual song and, uh, I love the outro. It really fits the song so well. Uh, yeah, very journey esque. I think everybody's going to really love this song. The next song is If You Want, and I did a video for that song. Check it out. Uh, it's a great song. It really sounds like uh, Rod Stewart and Brian Adams, all the favorite singers that you can think of from back in the day. Um, of course, I'm sure he was influenced by all those singers, and uh, Steve really sounds nice on this song, and really all the songs, but uh, this one... You know, really 
sets a tone for this whole album, but uh, yeah, really great song. The next song is Beautiful. There's a lot of interesting sounds on this song. I love the echo on the vocals. The guitar solo smokes. I'm just saying it really sounds great. And uh, it's a really deep song. Lyrically, it just really stands out to me. And I really like this song. The next song is Seven Ways Till Sunday. I love the way it starts out with a piano and the uh, woos and oohs, you know, that Steve does really adds to it. I love that. And the guitar and the strings are just awesome together. Lyrically, it just sounds, you know, sentimental. It's a, it's like a love song. And I would say this is tied, or maybe I can, I'll go back and just say that this is my favorite song on the album. The title track of the album, Seven Ways Till Sunday. This song should be a hit i'm just saying everybody should play this song radio stations should pick it up and play it because this song is just awesome yeah i'd like to know the story behind this song you know i can try to read into it you know the lyrics and things like that but you, you didn't never know i'd like to know the true meaning the next song is desert moon really nice guitar intro the song is a rocker I really do like this song. I really like the drums on this. They really stand out. And all the instruments really stand out on this song, maybe more so than the others. And uh, just a great band. Uh, the way they mix together. Uh, top of the line band for, with Steve singing. I mean, you can't beat this band. And the last song on the album, From the Beginning, but it's at the very end. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, it's a great intro. The lyrics are deep. They're great. The great vocals. I wonder what this song is about. I have to ask Steve one day, you know, was this based on a true story? I mean, you know, about lost loves and things like that. I wonder what happened. Or maybe it, it's just a story. Steve is a storyteller through these songs, you know, whether fact or fiction or just fantasy or just fun all the songs tie in together they sound great uh, but this song is a really good one um and you know as i said earlier spiritual moments in a lot of these songs deep thinking thought provoking songs and this is one of those albums you need to play from start to finish and just listen to the whole thing and maybe listen to it over and over again it sets a mood and a tone. It just gets your mind thinking about things. But, you know, his vocals, Steve's vocals are just, they're awesome. You know, I mean, through all the years, the tall stories, I was a big fan of his through that, you know, those times and, and with Journey and he still got it, you know, and maybe he doesn't sound just like Journey or tall stories. He has his own unique sound. And with these songs, they add a little something different, a little modern maybe to the mix, but it sounds great. And it still has that retro sound. I mean, to me, you could have had this album come out back in 1985 or something, and it would have fit perfectly. I, I just, I love stuff like that. I love songs and albums like that where you can just put it in, you know, like a CD player. I'm the old fashioned type put in a CD and listen and just relax and go, wow, this guy, he still got it. Steve Algeri, seven ways till Sunday. Go to his website for more information. Check out Spotify and right here on YouTube, uh, all the music platforms and uh, get this album. I think you're going to be amazed. If you haven't heard all these songs, you're going to be impressed. I, I was really impressed. Not going to lie. Really do love it. Hey, until next time, everybody, this is Gary Stuckey saying, keep the music real.